channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a wardrobe tour, but I'm also at the end of this video going to go through all the items on my clothes rack and talk you through the pieces that I'm keeping and the pieces that I'm getting rid of. So if you do enjoy that sort of stuff, it'll be right at the end. So make sure you stick around for that. But to start with, we're going to do a big tour of my clothes rack, my shoe storage, my accessory storage, and where the, I keep the rest of my clothes in the drawers behind me. So if you do enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you're new and let's go ahead and get into my wardrobe tour. I'm going to start with a little overview of this wall which has my clothes rack and my chest of drawers and a whole bunch of my accessories. The clothes rack is a black metal clothes rack that is from Kmart, super affordable as well. All of my coat hangers are white wooden coat hangers from Ikea and all of my clothes are on this hanging rack. Then I also have this floppy hat over on this side and then back on this side I have my grey Zoella backpack and then down below I have a pair of my white sneakers. I also have my Michael Kors handbag and then I have this little basket that was about four dollars from Kmart with a beaded clutch in it. Everything down here tends to change a little bit and nothing really stays like this. I feel like I might make it look a little bit better but this is what I have for now. Over here next to it I have my white chest of drawers which is from Ikea. I cannot remember the name of these drawers but it is the four tier one and then I also have the glass top that comes with it. This is the white one. You can get clear ones and other variations of colors but I decided to get the white one. And then down here next to my drawers I have the paper sack and then I also have a whole bunch of my accessories up top. Starting with this little dish here, this is a $1 pot plant base from Kmart and then I have a couple of these uh, L'Oreal like nail polishes, it's from their new collection and I just really like all four of these colors. I think they're just a nice color scheme and they almost work as a kind of like a decor piece. And then I have a few pieces of jewelry that I wear quite regularly, a couple of earrings, a choker, the gorgeous choker is from my friend's brand, which I'll have listed in the description. And then also I have my little like bangle that screws on there. Up behind that I have this what is supposedly a watch holder, but it is a terrible watch holder. I got it off eBay and I just have a few headbands over it. I think I will eventually just get rid of that and put the headbands in my accessories drawer. Next to that I have this acrylic sunglasses holder. It holds five sunglasses and I love it. It was about five dollars from eBay. I'll try and link the link that I got it from down below. Then next to that I have this watches case which is from Catch of the Day. I absolutely love this. This is new. It holds my watches and I just think it is so awesome. And then in the corner I actually have the box that my choker came in. I have a diptych candle, the diptych candle box. I have this little faux succulent from Kmart and then I also have another candle from Cotton On Body I believe. And then up above that I have my terrible clock that doesn't actually work. It's a beautiful black on black clock. I think I need to move it over a little bit on the wall and bring it a little bit this way. But it doesn't work, but I still like how it looks, so that's kind of everything that I have up there. In the first drawer, I just have my bras, some underwear, some socks, and some swimwear. I recently cleaned out pretty much everything in these drawers, so they're kind of empty, to be honest. Next down, I have a few piles of gym clothes, a giant hoodie, skirts that I actually wear as dresses when I'm tanning gym bras and then two piles of pajamas. I had an entire drawer just to pajamas and an entire drawer just to gym wear and I got rid of most of it so it all fits in the one. Next drawer down I have uh, jeans, jeans, skirts and shorts and then down the back I have some tops that just don't go up on my hanger. As you can see there's still space down here like I've managed to get rid of pretty much everything. And then the bottom is full of accessories. I cleared out so many accessories. So now I just have a few clutches, some dust bags, some gloves, a strap to a handbag, some boxes that are watching my sunglasses came in, earmuffs, and then a few hair pieces for race days and whatnot. So that's pretty much everything in my drawers. Um, I like it now because there's just a lot less in there and I just kind of really like this space. I think it's very cool. And over here in the corner, I have my little kitty, and he has decided to claim this, which is from Kmart, as his very own. So he comes and sits in here while I do work, and just sits here in the corner. Sometimes he lays in the morning sun, but he loves it, don't you? Yeah, you love it. Up in the cupboard where my clothes used to hang, I still have my like designer carry bags or whatever you call them up the top. 
but now I have actually stacked up the four little three tier cubes that I got from Kmart. I had two in either side, but now I have stacked them on top of each other and I have just filled them with all of my shoes entirely. Up the top, I actually have a Ted Baker makeup bag. I have a couple of hats. One's a black leather one from eBay. The other one is a gray one from Supre. And then in the first cube, I have my Louboutins. In the second cube, I have like my second favorite pair of shoes, which are these ones from Windsor Smith that I got in 2015 and I wear all the time. And then have a nude pair from Nine West. I have my shoes that I like to wear out at nighttime and clubbing, and they are from Lipstick. Then I have some more lipstick strappy heels. I have some simple plain heels that are a little on the lower end of the heel, and those are from London Rebel. Underneath that, I have these brown ones that I got from Forever New, and I think I'm actually going to get rid of these because I have barely worn them at all. Next to that, I have these ones from Guess that I got in 2015 and I love as well. Underneath, I have these peep toe booties from Boohoo that have a clear heel and they're super comfy and I just really like them. I think they're really funky. Next to that, I have these cage heels from Siren that need a really good clean and they also need to be rehealed, but I'm not getting rid of them because I love them. And then underneath that, I have my Nike sneakers and then I have some thongs and a pair of flats and two pairs of sandals because they are the only pairs of flats that I own and they all fit just there. So I really like how this is all looking and I think it adds just a nice sort of aesthetic to my room. So those are my shoes. So my wardrobe pretty much consists of the shoe wall just here and then all of my clothes in my chest of drawers my accessories and my clothing rack so that's pretty much everything i've owned i've been trying to downsize it and really really minimize everything that i own in terms of clothes and shoes and i think i'm getting there honestly i like this amount of shoes i think there's 16 pairs of shoes in there and i like that amount i think i might uh, get rid of some and get some new ones but i don't really want any more than that so that is my wardrobe tour now i'm gonna go ahead and get into clearing out some of my clothes tell you what i'm throwing away why i'm throwing it away and what i'm keeping and why i'm keeping it so let's get into that so starting with the nudes the first top i have is this crop top from kukai and i kept this from last time thinking that i would wear it again clubbing and I just never did so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Next up I have this kind of rib knitted super long dress that has a big split in it. I bought this one and a grey one from a store in uh, Stones Corner in Brisbane in 2000, no probably about a year ago now actually and it is the wrong colour for me. It is a yellowish toned nude and I need pink toned nudes and I've just not worn it this summer so it's going as well. Next I have my beautiful Ted Baker cape and I love this. This thing was so worth every cent that I spent on it. It's not very practical for the middle of winter but in the lead up to winter and just after winter it is beautiful so this one is definitely staying. Next I have my witchery long sleeve shirt. I somehow have this weird little stain here. I think I'm gonna have to give this a clean. This is also again a very kind of yellow toned nude and I just know I'm not gonna wear it this winter so I'm gonna actually get rid of this one as well. Next I have this gold sequin like mini dress that I got from Dotty years ago and it is so old now. It's probably like five years old but I'm never gonna get rid of it. I recently wore this only a couple of months ago. I keep it in my wardrobe because it's super glam and it's just one of those pieces I don't really want to get rid of. But I think I might take it off this rack and put it into the other cupboard with some pieces that I tend to just not keep out. They're more there for special occasions or sentimental pieces. Then we're moving into the white. I have a pair of seed collots. I only wore these in January. I am not getting rid of them. I've had them for over a year and a half, but they are just... A piece in my wardrobe that I don't want to get rid of because I do keep wearing them every now and again when the time is right and there is always going to be an occasion that I will wear these. Next I have a plain white button up shirt from Seed. It is a collar shirt. It's annoying because it really needs to be ironed. I love the back detail because it has this really nice sort of split that kind of looks a little bit like coattails. This though is an amazing shirt. It's my plain black, I mean it's my plain white button up shirt so I'm definitely keeping this one because I do wear it. The next one is tough. This is sort of like a cape shirt that I got from Seed in 2015. I've almost had this for two years and I haven't worn it for quite a while but it is such a beautiful top especially with the loose flowy cape section. I just don't think I can get rid of it right now. I do wear it occasionally because it is so beautiful. I think it's again kind of like the collots. It's just more when the time is right I will wear it but I don't want it to get out of my wardrobe. Next is a bodysuit from Bardot. Again, I've had this since 2015. I love the pleated detail on the front 
and the back this is a gorgeous piece and I do love wearing it with like high-waisted skirts and jeans I'm gonna keep this one because I do wear this quite regularly and it is so beautiful that I just can't get rid of it next I have a super tight long skirt from seed it's just you know folded over on my coat hanger I love this skirt I do wear it every now and then but I have some weird little bits of like Maybe makeup on the skirt though, which is kind of annoying. I'll try and get rid of it. But I do love this skirt and I'm definitely going to keep it because I have worn it recently as well. Next, I have this terrible long cardigan from Tempt. It is going, I think I said last time that it was going to go, but I kept it because I just needed something for those weird days to throw on. But I would like to find something that's not so like pilly or in such a cheap fabric that it doesn't look that nice. So I do want to get rid of this one and replace it with something a little bit nicer. Next, I have a dress that I got from Forever New. I've worn this once and I love it. It's just a beautiful kind of like thick knitted fabric and it's very almost a little bit formal. I'm definitely going to keep this because I am more than sure that there will be an occasion to wear this too. Next, I have a plain, really kind of poor quality sweater that's a little bit loose. It's starting to look old. This is from 2015. It's from Forever 21. It is time to go. It's starting to get see-through and I would like to replace this with a much nicer quality sweater as well. Next, I have this beautiful Kukai play suit that is this gorgeous sort of lacy pattern. It is so beautiful. I wore this on New Year's Eve and unfortunately got quite a bit of makeup everywhere. There's still a tiny little makeup stain down here that I need to get rid of, but I'm definitely keeping it because it is new to my wardrobe and it's gorgeous and it's fun and I'm just not ready to get rid of it. This little lace crop top is another new addition to my wardrobe. I wore this to the polo in January and it is beautiful. This is from Rodeo Show and again, brand new. I have only worn it once and I do plan to wear it again, so I'm going to keep it in my wardrobe for now. Next is a sort of crossover very long top from Bardo. I've never worn it. I think I kept it from the last time I was clearing out my wardrobe and I've still never worn it so it's going. Next I have this stripy high neck shirt which I got from Shopo uh, two and a half years ago but I'm keeping it in my wardrobe because it is a nice top and it's one of those tops I do use a lot for filming so it is going to stay in my wardrobe for now. Next I have this really cute two layered piece from Witchery. It's black and white stripes up the top and then underneath it has a more like cotton like shirt, almost a little bit more of a tailored feel at the bottom. I love this. I do wear this all the time so it's definitely staying. Next I have a top that I got from Seduce ages ago. Again, I don't really wear this one out a lot but I do use it for filming so it is going to stay. Next I have this black and white striped knit from Zara. I got this just after I cleaned out my wardrobe last time. I have worn it quite a bit. I don't know if I'm going to keep it this winter. I'll have to see how I go but I'm not ready to throw it out just yet. I have this little button up shirt I got from Tempt well and truly over a year ago and I think it's had its time. It's just not something I have worn in maybe two or three months so it is definitely time to go. Next one I think is Inside Out. This is another one from Witchery. I have mentioned before that Witchery is like my favorite store. It is a super long really weird looking pajama type shirt but I absolutely love it and I do wear it all the time. It's just been so hot recently that I haven't had a chance to wear it, but it's staying in my wardrobe. I have a grey knit that I got from Dotty. It's a really loose knit. It started to get holes in it. It's not looking in the best of quality. I will not wear this this winter, so it's going. We are up to the grey dress. It's the same as the first brownish coloured one that I mentioned. Again, I haven't worn this all summer because they just do not sit very nicely on my body shape. I've got love handles and it just accentuates them. So I am going to throw this one out too. I have a couple of scars. Let me just clarify too. When I say throw out, I mean donate, sell, move on, not actually throw into the bin. I do have this infinity scarf that I got from Forever 21 a long time ago and I still love it. And then the scarf underneath is from Cotton On and I have had this since 2014. I've had it for three years and it is still my favorite scarf and I'm definitely keeping it. Next up is another item that's inside out and it is this cute little gray knitted dress. I recently purchased this from Urban Outfitters. I haven't worn it yet because it's obviously not winter yet and it's still super hot here. But I do plan to wear this with like thigh high black boots. I just think that would be such a nice sort of autumn wintry look. I have my absolute favorite gray coat. This is from Forever New. I've had this for three years as well. It's definitely looking like I've had it for three years. It could do with a clean. Maybe I will look at getting a new gray one this winter. But I'm definitely after a black one. But it's staying for now because it is my 
favorite piece I think in my whole wardrobe. I have another knitted top from Tempt. It has this little zip pocket detail and this little under skirt thing in chiffon. I love this but again it's just because it is a cheaper quality item. I've had it for years. It's starting to not look that great so it's time to get rid of it. I have a brand new purchase that is from Forever New and I'm so excited for this one. I am definitely loving light blue at the moment. It is a button up shirt that has this really cool button detail down the front here and I love it. I cannot wait to wear this but again it's just been way too hot to be able to. Next up is a favorite of mine and I'm quite sure it is a favorite for a lot of you guys. I just I love this top. It is from Bardo. It's blue and white stripes. It's got really funky oversized detailed shoulder like arm sleeve hole things and it's also got these really great thin straps as well. I have worn this so much this winter. I mean this summer I wore it on Christmas Day. It is just such a fun flowy and definitely a spring vibed top. Next, I have a dress that I've worn a couple of times this summer. I can't remember the brand of this. It could be industry or something like that. It's very fun, like there's a lot of cool detail in the back, but it's a very difficult dress to wear and it's not something I've worn a lot of this summer and I know I won't wear it again next summer, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Next up, I have a denim dress that is from Tempt. It has been an item that I decided to keep in case I wore it this summer and I have not worn it at all. I think I may have worn it once. So because it's been almost the entire summer and not wearing it, it's going as well. I have another brand new top that I have not worn yet. I love the detail on this. This is so exciting. I think I'm actually going to wear this tomorrow night. I got this from a little boutique in Chapel Street. The brand is called Slideshow and I love the detailing. It's just so, so cool. So I can't wait to wear this. I have an old factory denim button up shirt. I feel like every wardrobe needs a button up denim shirt. So I'm not getting rid of this. I've had this for like four or five years now and it's still going strong and I still wear it. So it's definitely staying. I have my beautiful black and rose gold hardware jacket that everyone is always asking me about. It is from the brand Sass Clothing and it is beautiful. I love it. I do really, really want a black on black like hardware jacket this winter, but we'll see how I go for now. This thing is so thick, it is so warm, and it has just been amazing ever since I got it last year. Next, I have another Kukai cropped top. This one has the collar around the top of it, which I'm not really a fan of. I mean, again, I thought I would keep it in case I wore it clubbing. Never have, so I think it's time to go. Next, I have a super fun mesh top that I got from Urban Outfitters. This is definitely staying. I wear this every couple of weeks. Next is another new purchase. This one is from Forever New. It is one of their Balmain looking type blazers and I love it. I just purchased it. It's got beautiful like button detailing and I've only worn it once so it's definitely staying. Next I have this really fun sort of silky satiny play suit that I got from Shopo near Christmas. I have worn it out once, my friend has worn it out once, but it fits so beautifully that I'm definitely keeping it because I know that there will be another event that I can wear this to. Next along is a khaki sort of like throw on jacket that I got from Factory years ago. Again I think I've had it for two years. And I was going to throw it out, but I've actually found myself wearing it quite a lot in the last couple of months. So I think I might just keep it just in case. So that is my wardrobe tour and clean out video. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe if you're new. Up the top here, you can check out my last video. Down the bottom, I will leave a link to another one of my videos. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!